Hi, Brett Ridgway here. Welcome back to Brett Ridgway's Learning for Life Bluegrass Banjo Lesson. This is Lesson 2, Part 2 of 3 of Ross and the Bow. And last week we had you in the key of G. Now we're going to be doing this in the key of D, and I told you that I would show you how to capo. If you don't have a capo for your banjo, if you go to my recommended products page, I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, there is some capos there that I recommend for banjo and also a fifth string capo, which is separate than the than the regular capo. You're going to need both of that, both of those to do this. So I'll put links for that, but it's my recommended products on my website. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to give you a practice track and then we'll move into the chords. I do hope these lessons are helping you. I hope they're a blessing to you. I hope you're learning from them. I hope they're helping you to understand your banjo. And again, this is not a race to, to learn these tunes uh, or to learn your instrument. You want to take your time. You want to learn well. You want to learn slow. So I hope you're enjoying those. I want to thank those of you who are sharing these lessons, who are liking these lessons. You know, it's, it's so easy just to reach down there and click that like button. And that like button helps me with my my search engines in YouTube. So just reaching down there and hitting that little like button would be very much appreciated. Leaving a comments, even an, uh, an extra blessing for me uh, as it helps with the same thing with YouTube. So thank you to those who are doing that. I want to thank my patrons. Could not do this without the patrons. If you're watching these lessons, and again, you have a 24-7 uh, uh, library of lessons to learn from that you can go back to repeatedly over and over. Absolutely no charge, no fee, no subscription. Uh, these are free for you, and it's because there are those who are helping support this through Patreon. And even at the entry level, uh, at Patreon, on top of, of just having these lessons, whether you are a patron or not, you are invited to a one-hour live stream workshop every single month. So again, thank you patrons for your help and anyone who might consider becoming a patron. So let's get started with the lesson. So before we get into the chords, I did not give you a practice track uh, for last week for the melody. And really what we did is we did it in G and I explained that this week we would talk about the capo and then I'd give you a practice track in the key of D and that's what we're going to do. But to explain how to do that, what you're going to do is take a capo. By the way, this is a kind of a novelty capo. Uh, this is actually a shark. Uh, it's not necessarily what I'd recommend unless you've used capos. They're kind of fun. Uh, I've got an alligator one as well. Uh, on my recommended products page, I have what I do recommend, which is a shub capo. And uh, very, very easy to use, easier to use than this. Uh, again, this is more of a novelty. And you're going to put that on the seventh fret. So you have your fifth fret at the fifth peg, six, seven. You also should have markings on the side of your neck. Uh, you will have a marking usually at three, five, actually five is the peg, seven, and then you have one at 10, and then you have one at 12. But you want to put it, what I do is I put it across all the strings. So we are we are now in D, and then you need to capo the fifth string. Now, on my recommended products page, I'm putting two capos for the fret, uh, fifth fret. There are some that screw into your neck. I don't like those. Uh, these two are completely independent. Um, I'll explain it on the website, but I am on the 12th fret. Another way to find that where you should be is take, no matter where you're at, take the first string, fret it at the fifth fret, and the, the fifth string should match it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this just like I played it in open G. You're going to play the exact same things, and I'm going to play it through once, and then I'm going to give you your own practice track, and you can play the melody two more times through. So we're going to get started, and you're going to hear uh, actually one, two, three, then one, two, and you will come in on that third beat with your pickup note. Here we go.
So how'd you do? And if you're not ready for it, just go back and uh, practice, uh, practice coming in. Uh, don't panic. Just try to go back and learn the song until you're ready. It's not a race. Just take your time. So as we get into the chords, uh, we're going to do something different. A lot of times I'll put the chords up here. I'll put the chords down here. I think we're beyond that. Uh, at least we're going to go that direction that we're beyond that. And what I want you to do is actually hum the tune with your voice. Your voice is going to help you find those chords. When you're playing the melody, and this is just another thing, you know, you're making a C chord when you're playing the melody and you're making the E minor chord. Now, again, I'm referring to the positions. You're making those chords. That's also going to be your backup. So when you go to that uh, E minor chord, which is now a B minor chord, but when you go to that E minor chord for your melody, you're going to go there for your backup. But what's really, really going to help you is to sing. Now, again, I don't have a great voice, um, but you know something? This is how you do it. This is You want to get over that. You want to just sing. You want to hum it and get to where you can start hearing these chord changes. So we're going to try it. And you can just strum if you want. Bum, 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 bum. You're making a C position, which is actually a G chord. You don't need to worry about that. You just want to get the C position down. Open, da, 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 da. E minor position. Back to open. Da, 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 da. C position. Da, 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 G, da, da. D7, da, da, da. We're going to just do that first part again. Just watch my hands and actually sing along and see if you can hear it that way. Da, 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 da. Keep going. Here's your E minor position. Now, I'm opening my hand up all the way so you can see it's open. When you're playing this, you don't want to do that. You want to keep your hands hovered. This is open. Because you want to stay close to the fretboard. So I'm going to play it through for you. And uh, we're going to give you the backup. I'm going, to, I'm going to play it through with just chords. And then what we're going to do is give you a practice track that you can, and I'll play it where you play melody and backup. So let's get started. Remember, I'm calling out the positions, not the actual chords themselves. And we'll get into that sometime. This is why they refer to chords as one, four, and five. Now, do remember when you're playing backup, you're not coming in on that third beat. You're going to hear one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's when you're going to come in. So here we go. And, and by the way, I was just strumming those. You can pick it. Just different ways. There's, there's lots of things you could actually go. Sorry. Because we are in three quarter timing. Here we go. One, two, three.
Okay, so I'm going to play it through one time. Uh, I'm going to do the melody and then the backup. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to let you have it on your own. Play the melody, play the backup, mix it up. I'm just going to give you a practice track. And then next week, we're going to do an intermediate jam. We're not going to do a fast jam after that. There's no need for it. The song is not played that fast. We'll just up it just a little bit. But let me give you a practice track. This is all your own. Have fun with it. Play melody, play backup, mix it up, play it through several times. If I can help you in any way, I will be glad to help you. So I will bid you adieu at this point and see you next week. Here we go.